K-I-L-R Killer Games Hey everyone, it's another fun, fun, fun gaming video with Killer Gamer and Nerd Gamer 2K. All right, and we are going to play Ball Blazer. Woo! And who will get owned in this? Let's find out what this game is all about. All right, so this game was released in 1984 by Lucasfilm Games. Uh, when you hear Lucas, you're probably thinking... Star Wars. What? Star Wars? Yeah, it says in George Lucas, so duh. Uh, anyway, this was originally released for the 8-bit systems. Um, in case you don't know what those systems are, let's give you a little history lesson. That would be the Atari 800 computer and the Atari 5200 game console. There's the Atari 800 um, with their little function keys over to the right there. There are different colors. Um, and that uh, very top there opens up where you can put a cartridge in and stuff. Joystick ports on the very front. And the Atari 5200, which is a humongous, huge paperweight. Very, very heavy. The uh, cartridge goes there in the middle and the controllers get uh, stored in the back, which is pretty ingenious. As a matter of fact, these are the uh, controllers and joysticks for the Atari 5200. These were absolutely the best joysticks ever made, bar none. Because look at all the controls. I mean, you had the numbers on there, you've got the joystick, you had two buttons on uh, each side and you this is the first video game machine where you could actually pause oh and right there where you put those numbers are two little slits so games that had uh, required numbers had a little overlay pad that you could put on top of that yeah so first thing that I thought of was um, Star Raiders Star Raiders used that oh man I love Star Raiders so what do you think pretty cool controllers huh yeah, they they look like telephones. They look like telephones, yeah. Uh, well, actually, they were junk. <laughs> <laughs> they were absolute pieces of junk. Um, those little joystick things. For one, they don't auto-center. When you push it up, it stays up. You push it to the right, it stays to the right. Uh, that was a pain in the butt with games, especially Pac-Man. When something like that, you really need to move around, and it just don't work well with these uh, controllers. And they had a tendency to break, meaning that little joystick thing would come off of whatever it was, <laughs> and you couldn't really use it anymore. Yeah, these these were absolutely the worst freaking joysticks ever. So. Anyway, this game was ported to several different platforms, such as the Atari 7800, which had a little better of a joystick, um, but it was smaller and it looks cramped, the same. Cramped your hands. Well, no, no, actually, it's only one button on each side, no uh, buttons or anything like that on the top there. But uh, yeah, after a while of playing with that thing, you're your hand feels like you've got arthritis or something, but anyway. The Apple II computer! I remember these. Uh, back in my school days, learning to type and stuff. Mm. The Commodore 64, one of the most beloved, best-selling computers of all time. I have fond memories of that. The Amstrad! computer with a tape deck over to the right <laughs> and the ZX Spectrum it's so tiny Leia was very kind of tiny but this little baby could do a lot of stuff it could play games it could be a computer it was all in one uh, so was the Commodore 64 but hey I digress and the Nintendo Woo! entertainment system 
which pretty much, pretty much blew everything else out of the water when it came out. All right, so this game was originally called Ball Blaster. Wait, what's it called? Well, this is actually Ball Blazer. Oh. But when it was in development, it was <coughs> called... Ball Blaster. Ball Blaster, that is right. Um, also, when the game was pirated, they tended to call it Ball Blaster as well. <laughs> huh. And they made a remake uh, or sequel to it in 1990. It was called Master Blazer. It looks confusing. Nah, it's not really confusing when you play it. Anyway, this particular episode is going to feature the Atari 5200 version. So let's go ahead and uh, read what Ball Blazer is about. So it's the simplest, fastest, and most competitive sport in the known universe. It grew from dark roots in an ancient space war to become king of all games among every life form within range of interstellar ether casting. In exactly three minutes, Ball Blazer can make you a hero or destroy a lifetime of dreams. Oh. Now that that's done, the year is 3097 and the place is no gravity nexus mid-space in the binary star system Kalaxon and Kalamar, or is it Kalamar? I don't know. Moments from now on the luminous surface of an artificial asteroid, the final round of the Interstellar Ball Blazer Championship, the greatest tournament of all time in space, will begin, and history will be made. For the first time, a creature from the planet Earth has battled through the countless qualifying rounds and eliminations, enduring and then triumphing across vast parsecs to win the right to compete for the honor of his planet and the ultimate title any being can possess, Master Blazer. Woo! Yeah, so that's where the sequel got its name. <coughs> well, that's a chair. No, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> no, it's not a chair, it's a craft. Oh. It's called a rotofoil, as a matter of fact. And you're strapped into that, so is your opponent. The screen is split, so you each have a view of the game. You, you see your opponent's rotofoil, and your opponent sees yours. So it's two-player? It's a two-player game. Sweet. Yes. So you're going to face each other. One of you presses the start button, and the ball is fired. Go for it, and get it before your opponent does. Once you do, find the moving goal beams. I don't remember them moving. <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, blast the ball through for a score. You can see that up on the very top. Kind of. Yeah, kind of. There's a little goal, goal post. Goal. Goal post. Goal! Uh, it's total speed, power, and points one-on-one -on -one until time runs out. So the one with the most points wins. It's easy to play, but difficult to master. But go to step one and find out for yourself. Okay, so if you need instructions, the very first thing that you need to do is put your cartridge in the <laughs> 5200 Super System. I can't believe they need to put that there. Uh, you'd be amazed. Some people look at the cartridge and go, hmm, what am I supposed to do? Um, but you have to do it as explained in your owner's guide. Then turn on the system. Some people like to turn their system on, then throw the cartridge in. That was a big no-no. You can really jack your system up by doing that. Speaking of jacks, plug your controllers, the junk crappy controllers, into jacks one and two. Use controller one to play the top screen. And if you haven't figured it out, number two controls the bottom. Oh. Oh, yes. You want to see a demo of the game and watch uh, uh, two droids battle it out, press the zero key. <laughs> and this game, this company can get away with the word droid. Because it's from Lucas. <laughs> and of course, when we think of droids, we think of 3PO and R2-D2. Anyway, notice the split screen. Each half shows the view from one of the rotofoils. Uh, you press any key to stop the demonstration. And remember, the Interstellar Ball Blazer Conference strictly forbids betting on droid matches. So you can't bet on anyone. Um, but since we're, you know, making a video and it's on YouTube and who knows what else, you can bet on us. We don't mind. Um, we're not going to pay you anything. So that's up to you guys. All right. So 
in order to select the game options, we have to press the asterisk key on that crappy little uh, controller thing. One of these options will flash. So the top left player is going to be purple, the game time's in the middle, and then the bottom player, orange, will be on the right side. Wait, I don't get it. Well, you will when we get to it. So, uh, you're going to change the option by pressing the pound key, which will switch you between human and then droid 1 through 9, um, which are your difficulty levels. And then in the middle, you can change your game time from 1 minute to 9 minutes. Then you press start. And you push your droid safe forward. <laughs> Uh, and you're going to look at your half of the screen and keep moving forward until you reach the bottom. <coughs> but what if you look at the other person's screen? Probably not a good idea. Why? Well, you want to know where you're going, not where he's going. Besides, this thing, this this game can get rather fast. You're going to want to pay attention to your screen. But hey, if you want to pay attention to uh, your opponents, hey, go for it. Anyway, let's get blazing! Atari, Atari, Atari. Woo. Woo. Lucasfilm! Ding! Time to groove. To Ball Blazer! Which is a Lucasfilm production. Alright, let's see here. Nine, all right. Well, human versus human, and we're all set there. All right, so I should be on the top, and you should be on the bottom. So we'll just go ahead and click start. When you hear that buzz sound, hit your fire button, because then you can take take the ball from me, or at least try. Keep running into you. I don't even know, do you, is there any way to turn? No, you just, you'll face in the direction of the goal post or the ball. Oh, see, see that? You got it. No, I don't. No, you caught it, you got it. I do? Where yeah. did I go? It's on you. Now it's not. You're headed right for the goal, too. This game is confusing. You're always facing the ball until you have it. And then you face the goal post. Or you face that direction, anyway. Ah. Defense. No. I keep bouncing all over the place. to get that. Oh, I th almost thought I had it. Ah! Ah. You figuring out the movement yet? Kind of. I'm still trying to figure out how to move. I'll let you go for the goal because you are... I don't know. Do I just push it? Yeah. Woo! Yeah, you just hit your fire button and it shoots. Oh, cool. You're still gonna win even if I get all the last points. But I kinda get it. That's cool. 
It's a real simple game. Once like, you, you basically uh... just keep going forward. Man, I'm fast. Oh. Hey there. It's the chairs. We're sitting in chairs. Skidding around. Whee! With rolly wheels. Oh. He just shot it at me. I was just about to make it. I keep shooting it. Wah! Yeah, don't do that. And you're always face in the direction of the ball until you have it. And then you face the goal? Yeah. Oh, so... What if I get another point, then it just overrides it? Yeah, exactly. Gimme! Get smaller the higher you level up. Ah, the more points you get. Oh, she's getting it now. Ah! My ah! I just shot it. Now where do I go? Oh, there it is. Ugh. Man. Oh, just before you made a goal too. Oh, now I got it. Oh, no, I lost it. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> Darn! This is confusing. <gasps> oh. This is the first game that Lucas... Go! Lucas Games did. It's very confusing. Ah! I thought I had that. It always changes. Yeah, the, your, your view changes to where the ball is. I know, it just gets confusing when it changes. Yeah, it does. <laughs> you get you figure it out, though. You get used to it. Yeah, I kind of get it. But it's actually... I like... Oh, my. I think I beat you. It's got my um, color on there, I guess, because I won. Ooh, I'm moving. Ooh, look at me. Yay. Wee. And goal. I'm getting hit. Goal. <laughs> goal. <laughs> goal again. Touchdown. Goal. Yeah. All right, folks. That was Ball Blazer for the Atari 5200. And, I don't know, should we do another one? Mm hmm. Or you just want to kind of move around like this? Then move around like this. We can do another one if you want. I don't know. I think you got used to it. Well, you know, folks, we're going to do another one. <laughs> Why not? We want to make the video longer. Hey! Got it! Ah! What if this was actually a sport? Be a cool sport. Be a cool sport. You just like rolling around in chairs. 
Ow! I thought I had it. I think... I got the point. I know, but I think I hit it and it just wound up going into your goal. <laughs> Woo! Thanks, bro. Get out! Ah. Where's that goal post? There it is. It was cool. It's like it was in my hands, but you hit it into my goal. I know. <laughs> How about that? That was that? just hilarious. Why are you ah. so fast? I don't know why I'm so fast. Where's that ball? There it is. Sliding back and forth. Aw. Oh, there it is. Oh. This is like the same points I got last time. No! That was <laughs> close. <laughs> Why is the field so long? Oh, I missed it. Yeah, there it is. Ah, I missed. Whoa! <laughs> Ooh, you got it. Barely. I only got one point. It's because you were too close. If you're a little further, you get get more points. Oh well. Kind of like basketball. Really? Yeah, basketball. If you if you uh, do your shot from further back, you get more points. I didn't know that. Uh. Oh. Ah. No, He's no, bouncing no, no, me. No, no, no. Oh. No. Ah. No. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> I'm going to own you. No. I'm not going to let you get away from my chair. Ow. My chair. I want to be singing some Jerry, Jerry Lee Lewis. Great balls of fire. Oh, I have it. <laughs> I thought you had it. Oh, now I, I do. do. I'm like totally lost. There it is. The goalposts are moving. moving. It's not. It's not in the same spot it was. Ooh. That was so close. See, it was over there, and now it's over here. Oh yeah. Ah, I can't get to you. Yeah, this one's actually getting rather interesting. I can't tell if you have it or if I have it. It'll stick to your screen. Like, see, so you got it now. Oh. <gasps> ah, darn. As 
Okay, sounds like we're scuttling across the grid. I know it's like, get it! Oh! Where is it? I can't get it off. You still have it. Get away from me! I keep getting it! Because you're right on the edge, that's why. Whoa! Oh, man. I barely made it. You're beginning to pawn <laughs> me! No. Thanks. Ah. What the? How did I get a point? I just got a point. Yeah, you did. <laughs> How did that happen? I don't know. I hit you as soon as you made the goal. And give me my, give me my victory sound. But for some reason. Now nah, you got that point. Yeah, that was kind of weird. Must be a glitch. Nah. Not one I've seen before. It's going on my side. Aww. I keep shooting it. Ah! Gotta find the moving go post. There's the ball. There it is. Ah! I almost had the go. Ah! Aw, I are you are you kidding me? I shot it. <laughs> no. Probably somewhere over here. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to take the ball. Hey. Ugh. Because I am the ball blazer! And I just lost the ball. Hup, 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 hup. Uh. <laughs> You're so close, too. I'm so slow! Ah, where is it? Over here. Leave me alone. Where's the goal post? Keeps moving around. Ooh, I got that one. That was like the world's longest game. Oh, you got it. You're so close. Well, actually, used the entire time, I think. Probably. What are you doing? I don't know, bouncing in the corner, apparently. <laughs> Still have a point. I shall keep that point as long as I can. Whoa! Did you see how it was moving? Yeah. Think. Keep the point. Ah! Ah! Well, 
spinning around. <laughs> Nobody won. Whee! No, I won. Whee! Are we still are we spinning in circles? We're spinning around in circles. Whee! Oh, I have the ball. Oh, yes, you do. But you can't do nothing with it. I got Whee! rid of it. Alrighty, folks. I think a couple games is enough there for the 5200 version. I remember this vividly. Played this quite a bit. Not as much as some games, but. Alright, well, we appreciate you checking this out. And if you're interested in more Atari games, or just anything else, click on any of those videos that you see on your screen. And that'll take you right to it. Because that's what links do. They do neat and crazy things. And while you're at at it and doing neat and crazy things, go ahead and click like. Subscribe to us. Because we always like that. And hey, leave some comments down below. Perhaps there's a game that you'd like to see us play. On the Atari. Or the Commodore 64. Or what have you comments down there. We appreciate it! And we'll see ya on the next video! Keep it cool. Keep it killer.